Hiya, it's Hannah the Artisan Duck and I'm back today with another POT stitch tutorial. I did this one a little while ago where I showed how to make these POT triangle earrings and I said then that I wanted to make a necklace with the same stitch and sort of connect all the triangles together to make something a little bit different. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me show you where I've got to. Right, this is what I've been doing and I'm aware it looks a bit of a confusing mess at the minute uh, with all these threads around but I've started on this side here for the blog post and the other side is going to be exactly the same so I'm going to do the other side with you and you'll see exactly how I've done this. So basically I've made my triangle stitch, my triangle POT, just like I did for the earrings and I've made them all different sizes so I've got two of them in this really tiny size I'll show you this one down here. So this is the same one and I've stopped on each occasion I've stopped before I've done my last round of beads because the last round of beads is what we've done to connect them together if that makes any sense. So here I've stopped it where my I've got like these two green beads sticking up in the middle there and then the next size down is this one and you can see that the pink is coming into this one now so I've got two pink in the middle and I've made four of these so I've made two of the smaller size four of this middle size and then I made two of even bigger again and this one's got four of these pink beads in the middle so if you wanted to do this and make along with me you could just count how many beads I've got in the middle of that pattern and then for the last one I made one giant bead uh, triangle and this has got one, two, three, four, five, six pink beads along that side there you can see it's a lot bigger than the earring even is so I finished it where I haven't put the you can see as I've been working around I've been adding these points onto the corners so before we do that I've left them with the blunt ends just like that I've left the tail threads like this, this is all the tail threads of all the triangles because I've been using the tail threads to bead through to, to stitch them all together. So I'm going to stop waffling, it'll all become obvious when I uh, make the necklace. Uh, let's get started. Right, I've got my beads off to the side here and I'm going to keep them off to the side because they cause my camera to try and focus in and out all the time. So if I'm, I'm hoping if I leave them to one side that that won't happen but I'm just going to show you what I've got so I've got size 11 seed beads in my three different colours and these ones are all silver lined which is what's giving these beads this fantastic shine I absolutely love them alright can you see that so this is my smallest triangle and I've just added a needle back onto the thread that's coming out the top here because this is what we're going to start with so the reason I've left the ends blank for now is because we're going to do another level of beading but also I wanted to figure out which colour bead would connect in so if you can see instead of a grey bead on the end there like the other two I've put a pink bead in because that is the next row of peyote stitch there on this bigger triangle down so the first bead I'm going to pick up move that thread is going to be one of my pink beads so I'm just going to do like normal, so I've picked up a pink, I'm going to take that through and I'm just going to pop it in there and I'm just going to do, I'll do the POT around here just so you can see it and get a feel for it um, and then I won't make you sit and watch through all of it because that will be too time consuming for you. So we're just going to follow the pattern along, so I'm going to pick up a green and this is a a little insight into how to do it if you don't know how to do the POT stitch and I'm going to pick up a pink and start on the um, pink beads in the middle there like that and then another green and up here now from here we're going to pick up um, a purple one now to top that end off Oops.
All right, so we're going to pick up a green now and work our way along here. There we go, so that's the second side done. We've just got this corner and the rest of these to do, so I shall go ahead and do that. This is my last bead on this triangle. Here we go up through this purple and then through the pink, because we want the needle to exit from that pink before we go into our next size. So give that a nice tug, make sure it's all sitting nicely, which that is. Now I'm going to pick up my next size and I'm alternating the sizes so I'm going for a smaller then a mid and then a bigger and then smaller and then the biggest. So here's my section, you can see it. And I'm just going to take the needle through this pink bead here and that will take my little triangle and make it join up with my bigger one. Oops. If you can see there, just like that. Now you might need to go back and tighten this up in a minute, um, but we're just going to start on the P80. I just want to get that thread out of the way so it doesn't annoy you. This is the only problem with this project is there's so many threads hanging off all of it, but that'll hopefully get sorted in a minute. So you can see now I'm exiting out of this pink one and we're just going to carry on. So we're going to pick up an, another pink and then a green and then a oh, purple on the end here. So just stick with the pattern. There we go. So that's just finished that row there. So I've added the purple bead there because that's going to be on the outside of the triangle. And I'm going to work my way down inside here. And when I reach this one, because this is going into the next triangle along, I'm going to need to pick up a pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll be back when I've done this row um, and show you. All right, there we go. So I've finished that off and I've put my pink bead on the end. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish this row here. And then I'm going to join up the rest of this row here and then join it on with this pink bead. So I'm just going to um, add the beads as we have been doing really simply right there we go so I've added on this last pink bead and I'm exiting out of this, this little bead down here now what we need to do is take the needle back through this pink bead on this triangle and then just join it all up so it's nice and tight together there we go just like that now I'm going to weave this this thread in a little bit and then we're going to pick up the thread that's coming out here, take it through this pink bead and pick up the next one. So I'm just going to weave this one in and then I'll be back to show you the next bit. There we go. So I've, I've just weaved that end in a little bit so it's not going to keep sort of, loop, the beads aren't going to keep loosening. I haven't tied anything off yet though because I just want to make sure that I'm completely happy, I get the tension right, I will knot every end in once I'm done. So I've taken this tail thread, which is the tail thread from this triangle here, and I've made sure that it's exiting through this pink bead. We're going to pick up the next size down and add it on. So this is the next size, and we're going to add it on between these two beads here. So it's not going to be in a straight line, so this pattern doesn't run straight, because I wanted to make sure it sat comfortably around the neck and didn't look awkward. And I was worried if I followed it just in a straight line that it would look slightly clunky. So I pop that in there. And then the same as before, we're just going to POT all the way around, adding a pink bead to the bottom there and um, carry on in exactly the same way. So I'm going to go off, I'll do that and I'll come back when it's done. There we go, there's this triangle finished. I've popped a pink bead on the end so that this can join into the next triangle down and I've swapped over my thread now. So I'm using a tail thread from this one, this triangle here, and I've made sure that it's exiting out of this pink bead ready to attach onto the smaller triangle. So 
all we're going to do is we're going to pop it into this middle section here. So just take the needle up as before, pull it through. These tail threads are getting tricky to keep track of. There we go. Like that. And I'm going to go around now with this triangle as well. I won't make you watch it, but I'm going to pop a grey bead on the end. So the grey bead's going to go into the, the bigger triangle. So instead of a pink, I'm going on with grey. So I shall go off and do that and then come back when I've done it. There we go. As you can see, I've done that. And I've brought in the other half now so that we can attach them um, both together. So I'm going to pick up this one. And what I will say is when you tie your knots at the end, reinforce all these little connection points because obviously if there's only one strand of thread currently going through here. You'll need to go up and down through these beads um, a couple of times more. But I'm just going to take my needle. I've swapped over so I'm using a tail thread from this triangle and I've popped it on this thread here and I've made sure it's going through this grey bead on the end. So we're going to take the needle now and twist it around so I can do it. There we go. We're going to take this needle down through here. Just the one bead though, just that top bead. And pull it through. And it's going to come up and meet like that. If it's focusing. There. So those two are going to sit together now. All I'm going to do is carry on the peyote stitch all the way around. I've already done it down this side here when I attach this one. So I'm going to go down and peyote along these two sides and then I'm going to take my needle back up to the top so I'm exiting out of here. So I'm going to go off and do that and then come back and we'll finish it off. There we go. I've gone all around this big triangle and I've gone up through this stitching here that I'd already added. And I'm exiting out at the top here at the top of this big um, triangle. I'm going to take my needle up into the point of the triangle ne um, just next to it and pull that through and then this is going to help reinforce this section. I'm going to go down the next one along and into the, uh, the larger triangle again. So just pull this through There we go. I don't know if you can see, but essentially now what I've done is added on another little section in the middle. So instead of adding a point, I've added on the two beads and that's just going to make our connection. So I need to tighten up all the um, threads. But as you can see now, we've got that larger one as a pendant and we've got the triangles going up the sides to shape our necklace. Right. I've now got to go and I'm going to tie off all these threads, weave them in, knot them. I'm going to suggest you reinforce every point where you've connected the triangles. So go through them you know, one or two times more and knot your threads. And then I'll come back and we'll do the chain section together. Right, there we go. All my ends are knotted and weaved in and cut off. I didn't show how to do this on this tutorial because I did show it on the POT triangle tutorial. So I'll link below if you need to see how I managed to do that. But um, it's relatively simple once you get the hang of it. I've started on this side. I've added my chain and I'm doing a two strand um, twisted rope. So you stitch it so this, this twist will not come undone. So that's what we're going to move on to now. I have got my beading needle and I've switched to a white thread now because we haven't got this dark bead here and because of the way the twist is done I'm not sure you can see you can just see a little bit of the white thread going between the beads so I didn't want to use that black thread it just looked too harsh so to start we're going to anchor the chain onto this pink bead in the middle here so I'm just going to take my needle up into that bead like that. I okay, guess so I've taken my needle up and into that pink bead and I have left a really good tail thread because I'm going to weave that in at the end on the chain. So 
you can just see and this is the inside of the necklace so you can see on this side on the inside of the chain is the pink bead so to start with we're going to use our needle to pick up uh, three pink beads and then three green beads all right there we go I've got my beads I'm just going to pull them down a little bit and I forgot to say this is about an arm span of thread so it's it's quite a lot um it's a good arm span it was a little bit over actually because i don't want to have to add more thread halfway through my chain necklace and if this starts getting a little bit stiff because you've got several layers of um thread going through you can use your pliers and gently pull it through i like to put my thumb on it and pull gently that there we go there you go can you see that if you once you've pulled it through so you've pulled it through from the opposite direction so it forms a loop right so I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go back up through the pink beads just the pink beads and pull. So the next step is to pick up two more beads, one pink, one green, and the pink's going on first because we want it to sit on top of this pink bead here. And we take the needle down through the top green here and pull all the way through. You can see there. They're going to sit nicely like that. Oops. And then we're going to take the needle through the, the top three beads, just like that. So we've got the one at the very bottom that we've also added a second ago, but we're just going to go through the two that were added in the first step and then the, the very, very top pink bead. And then we're going to pull through like that. And this is what will form the twist eventually. You don't need to do anything, it'll just do it as you uh, continue through with the stitch. Right, so now the next bit is to pick up another pink and another green. And again, I'm not going to make you watch all of this. But we're going to go in through the top bead there. Pull down with the thread. Take your time because it will always get caught like that and then we're going to take our needle and we're going to go through these top three beads and we're just going to keep on doing that until you've got the length you want. I am going for an 18 inch necklace so I have measured how long the triangle sections are and I've decided how much of this beaded section I need to do. So I'm going to go off and I'm going to finish that. And when I come back, we should hopefully have a nice twisted chain like that. Right, hopefully it won't take me too long. I just thought I'd pop in very quickly and show you. I'm a couple of um, rows in now. And you can see it's just starting to twist. And I haven't had to do anything to do that. It just does it as I'm beading. So... Yeah, I'm going to go and do the rest of it now, but I just thought it'd be cool to see how it starts to go. Right, there we go. There's our full length of beaded chain. And now we're going to finish off with the loop, which I'll show you what I've done for the other side. Here, this is the loop for the beads. I'm hoping you can see that. So I finished up with my last row of the twisted rope and I've picked up three pink and three green and I'm simply now going to pick up um, I've got a split ring here because I prefer you know when it's if there's any risk it could a, a jump ring might slip off the thread I'll put a, a, a split ring instead so that's like that and we're just going to take the needle down into the green and that's going to form our loop at the top I'm hoping you can see I've had to turn on a light because it's getting dark in here so I'm going to go through now and weave in these ends and knot them 
all the way down as well as much as I can and I'm going to do the same at the bottom here as well and I'm going to take this tail thread that I left myself here and because this is going up and into the pink this tail thread is going to go up and into the green so that I'll knot from the bottom up as well and reinforce all this stitching so I'm not going to make you watch I'm going to go off and do that and then I'll come back and show you the finished necklace there we go I've added my clasp and tied off all those ends oops there we go and there is our finished necklace I'm hoping you can see all of that there um, I will put all the links below in the box below for blog posts and the previous tutorial where I showed how to do this and until next time thanks for watching bye